The Detroit News is getting ready to celebrate its 150th anniversary. That newspaper was founded on August 23, 1873, and since then, it has played a pioneering role in news, radio, television, even education. And to celebrate this big milestone, the Detroit News has now teamed up with Detroit City Distillery to create a bourbon and also raise money for charity. So joining us right now in studio is reporter Sarah Rahal, who is spearheading this effort on this collaboration. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So let's hear more about this partnership. Yes, uh, so we are launching a 150th specialty bourbon with Detroit City Distillery to celebrate our historic anniversary. and. Um, I think this is a perfect toast to just a 150 years of marking all of the important things that have happened in the city. And uh, one of them, just that we look at constantly in our newsroom, is a paper from December 6, 1933, that says Prohibition out. And uh, it's the backdrop is that what's of here? our yes, it's the backdrop of our new bottle. So um, I have just been awesome. geeking out about this. It's super specialty, very limited edition. Um, and just a collector's item. I love the detail there. How <laughs> bourbon? How did you come to pick bourbon? Well, the Detroit News kind of has a history with bourbon. It's kind of one of those things where if you look back on um, just old newsrooms, they always have cigarette um, uh, ashtrays. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. bourbon. You are so right about yes. that. So um, Nolan Finley, our opinion editor, is hosting uh, with Stephen Henderson. They're off the record on the island uh, bourbon party at Mackinac right now. So it was just very fitting that all of this came together right now. Yeah. Who got to do the taste test? Um, actually, newsroom leaders, so the publisher, managing editor, Nolan, um, even restaurant critic Mel Melody Batons, uh, myself. It was just a pleasure. We Does this a tough task, huh? Not <laughs> at all. Um, the Detroit City Distillery has been the best partner for this, and frankly, they were my only call because uh, their bourbon is butcher's, butcher's Cut bourbon, and it's a double gold medal awarded bourbon so they're wow. just great at what they do and they let my creativity just run wild so whatever we wanted to do they were just so instrumental in making us it was uh, a good position and, to be in and it's for charity so it's just like this perfect um, gift or specialty product that anybody could love yeah um, and I hope you both get to try it yeah. so coming yeah. along with that where can you get it, how much, mm -hmm. and what charity? So starting next Friday, so June 9th, it'll go live online at Detroit City Distillery's website at 8 a.m. And from there, it's pretty anticipated that it's going to sell quickly. So um, it's first come, first serve. And if there are any left over, uh, we're having a birthday party at the distillery in Eastern Market at 4 p.m. where everyone will pick up their bottles or try a cocktail with the bourbon at the bar. So oh, awesome. um, great it's going to be great. I hope both of you can make it because yeah. Marrow serving food. It's going to be a great street party. And uh, it's just a toast to 150 years of um, drafting history. Yeah. Right? And you had mentioned history. Uh, there's such mm -hmm. a rich history for both of these entities. Mm -hmm. So coming together now on this effort, how does that feel for you? It's just perfect. It's just the easiest thing that we've ever done and the most fun. Uh, it's very unique to have uh, us be the spotlight and to take a break and actually reflect on what we've done is not something we can do often. And I've just, I'm just so proud of this. It's a wonderful product. It raises money for two charities, Catch, uh, which is for pediatric families and their patients at Henry Ford Health System and uh, the Rosa L. Park Scholarship Foundation, which helps interns uh, find a pathway to newsrooms. And we're even sponsoring That's four wonderful. interns in our newsroom this summer. So yeah. Yeah. it really does go to a great cause. It, and All we'd that be bourbon might make you tired, we didn't mention the coffee Exactly. Yeah. We both, Terrence and I are both coffee lovers, and so we noticed yes. something else over there. Yes, yes. Uh, so for those who maybe didn't want the bourbon, we wanted an under $20 product. And the coffee is just a perfect medium roast. It's made with Detroit Bold, which uh, whose founder was a former paper boy for us in the 70s. And uh, AJ uh, O'Neill, he's got a great story where he started drinking coffee at such a young age because he was delivering such a heavy paper. And uh, talking to him, his just glow of talking about the Detroit news is something that I carry with me today. So, And you can buy both on the website? You can buy both. So Detroit Bold is selling the coffee right now for $17.99. Okay. And the more you buy, the cheaper it gets. It also funds the, the charities we mentioned. Um, and then the bourbon comes out next Friday. All right, mm -hmm. at 8 a.m., right? At so be on your computer and ready, because I agree yes. with you. I think it's going to be gone. Mm -hmm. It's limited, 250 bottles, and they are collectors. Oh, awesome. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you for, for sharing all of that with us.